Hi viewers, today we will learn how to georeference a map using online base map in ArcMap. Just open uh, ArcMap, see that proper internet connection is existing. So to georeference based on online base map, it is required to have the internet. Then uh, see that in uh, add drop down menu add base map so we can add whatever the map we required then select topographic map then topographic map um, map can be downloaded into your table of content from online servers so once again it is required to have the very good internet bandwidth so that we can see that the base map is added to the table of content for the total world now we can zoom to our required area then try to open your map then identify all the details like uh, reference point here we need to understand uh, we need to find out the various ground control points by means of identifying any towns or cities like canals which we are able to see here you try to identify uh, points from different corners so that uh, we can uh, bring into a uniform scale in where we can identify some other river system or we can also see railway track such kind of information can be seen from different corners then where we can identify here in Hindri river then you close that map then zoom to particular area it may be taking time that is depending upon your internet speed if you have very good connection then uh, automatically it is zoom to level then go to your study area you identify on base map which is directly sound downloaded from the online servers then uh, okay we now we are into the level where we can uh, go further zoom level then it is okay. Now we can see that same uh, canal or uh, area or river or particular railway line where we can identify in detail. So that if it is uh, matching to our study area then we can uh, uh, keep into particular zoom level. Okay. Now we can see that it is matching. Maybe we can make it as a center so that uh, Andri River and uh, Adoni and all railway line can be seen here. Then open your raw data, nothing but unreferenced map which is in JPG format. So if you if you are using first time, then we need to go to the connect to folder, then go to my PC, then go to D. Like select the path uh, where input data is existing. For example, here uh, it is there in MSR Geospatial Solutions. Okay. Then open the folder. Then select JPG. Select and add. Make it okay. Now JPG is added to the table of content. So to do first we need to go to right click then uh, highlight georeferencing here if it is already highlighting then we can deselect and select you just to select the georeferencing georeferencing toolbar is added to the main menu then uh, fit to display if you click fit to display uh, then the jpg will be displayed to the display window so that is what uh, approximately we need to bring into with respect to base map. So make uh, base map uh, study area which we identified with respect to uh, JPG. Then we make it to center. Then again uh, go to georeferencing fit to display. So we need to make approximately so that uh, point can be easily identified with respect to base map. So then we can uh, make uh, so further zoom out. Then select go to geo fit to display. 
now it seems that approximately uh, added jpg or unreferenced map is uh, matching with respect to base map now we can go for the uh, assigning control points so based on uh, information which is available in both the base map as well as an topo sheet so now we can see that uh, railway line is existing then same railway line can also be seen in uh, base map uh, along with the roads so you identify any of the point then go to control point just select on a particular path then uh, second point you need to select on the correct position on base map so that first map i mean first point of the map is dragged to the base map then likewise you give uh, maximum points wherever you identify clarity on both here we can see that uh, railway track is crossing the road you select then second point we need to consider on base map you zoom to level then you click see that uh, unreferenced map is now matching with respect to base map it means that whatever the reference values of uh, map are bringing into the original reference values of base map now you identify to another corner it is better to uh, identify or place points ground control points uh, randomly in uh, all the areas then you see that there is a canal you can identify a particular corner or particular shape of the canal then click then uh, we can also match with respect to base map then select one more point so that if you give maximum number of points accuracy will be very high so that uh, wrapping nature can be reduced another uh, easy identifiable point on the opposite then uh, make on uh, i mean make match with respect to base map then zoom to further level then where we were able to see uh, maximum identification or reference point then go to control point and select on uh, unreferenced map that is on jpg then uh, we can also see that uh, same can be seen it means that uh, the point can be considered twice first point we need to click on uh, reference map then uh, second point we need to consider with respect to base map so that point will be captured then point to other area where we can identify like shape of the particular canal so both uh, on both uh, unreferenced map as well as on base map so it is uh, approximately matching with the same location now we can make it then identify other points if it is required to go to further zoom we can go to the zoom different zoom levels see that in uh, online map uh, we are able to understand particular canal is existing along with the road information but such kind of water body we may not able to identify here road can be clearly observed it is moving towards down when you identify particular location go to control point then click first click second click with respect to base map so likewise we need to give the n number of points uh, at least to cover all the areas all the covers all the corners then zoom to another area where we identified andri river andri river area then we identify the road shape as well as river so that it is easy to identify even on base map so select a point here we can uh, uh, deselect uh, map and we can uh, match with respect to base map we make another point on uh, corner of andri river which can be uh, easily identifiable on base map then zoom right click zoom to layer then uh, last corner where we can also identify one more point we can give here see that the road is crossing where we can identify some angle with respect to a straight line there is a small uh, 
intersection portion may be exactly it is matching then select at the same point now see that uh, approximately 10 to 11 po control points are given now data is matching with respect to base map data now we can see the view control points so all the points are existing how many points and what is the then x map that is the longitude then uh, y map and thing but latitude information can be seen if any mistake we can update here then we can see that number of points 11 points then uh, we can save the data so uh, this control point can be saved the data can be imported uh, uh, for further work if any internet problem again need not to give the points simply we can import all these points and we can uh, georeference given map save to your path all the control points can be saved save the data make it close now map is ready to uh, georeference go to georeferencing then as in rectify they will make it as a neighborhood natural neighborhood then uh, just to give workspace then uh, name output whatever is required then save it is the standard procedure uh, to georeference a map using uh, online base map for that internet connection is required see that process is completed now you remove the jpg you remove the jpg then uh, add tip file which is georeferenced file see that now match is exactly ma matching with respect to base map where we can see that uh, uh, as for the control points now referenced map is details are matching with respect to base map now base map details can be deleted then zoom to full now input map is ready to for further analysis using GIS